Cankerworms are a defoliating pest in the inchworm family. They defoliate trees in the spring, and because they are more common in urban areas, homeowners often control them. They often attack red and white oak, maple, ash, basswood, beech, black cherry, apple, elm, and hickory. You should band your trees in the fall just after all of the leaves have fallen off. The reason for this is because if you do it before this happens, the leaves might stick to the band. To band your trees, you will need a few supplies. You'll need fiberglass pipe insulation that's three inches wide. You'll need 80 gauge stretch wrap. A lot of people choose black, but you can really choose whatever color you want. You'll need tanglefoot. This is the substance that the moths will actually get stuck to. You'll need a putty knife, a utility knife, a staple gun with staples, and disposable gloves. First, wrap the insulation around the trunk of the tree. You want it about four or five feet high, but it kind of depends on the height of the applicator. Once you get all the way around, secure it with your staple gun. Try not to use too many staples and don't use nails or a nail gun. If there are gaps between the bark and the band, make sure to stuff it with extra insulation so that moths can't crawl through. Sometimes you might need to add an extra staple. Next, wrap the stretch wrap around the tree on top of the insulation. Pull the material to ensure that it's tight against the insulation and make sure you're overlapping and stretching the plastic so that it clings to itself. Make sure you cover all of the insulation and then cut the wrap. For this next part, you're gonna wanna wear gloves. And that's because Tanglefoot is very sticky. Now you're going to apply the tangle foot to the band. You want it about an eighth of an inch thick and the band to be six or seven inches wide. Make sure you do this all the way around the trunk of the tree so that there's no paths that the moths can climb through. So how do these bands work? Well, when adult moths emerge from pupation in the soil, the females can't fly. So they must crawl up the trunk of the tree to reach the canopy where they will mate and then lay eggs that hatch in the spring. Well, if this band is on the tree, as the females crawl up the trunk, they get stuck in the band. If they are stuck in that band, they're not reaching the canopy and laying eggs for the next season. Throughout the season, you're gonna to wanna to check your band. If leaves have fallen on the band or if adult moths have crawled up and made a bridge that other moths could crawl over, you're gonna to want to either remove those or put another layer of Tanglefoot on top. Keep your bands up until the spring so that you catch both the fall and the spring cankerworm species. To remove the band, use a utility knife to cut a slit in the band and remove. Another consideration is if the canopy of your tree is overlapping or touching branches of another tree. In that case, you'll want to band both trees so that the moths don't crawl up an unbanded tree and get into the canopy of the banded tree. In some cases, neighbors even go in together to purchase the supplies so that they can band all of the trees that are overlapping or touching. Now, you can sit back and enjoy the tree that is not defoliated by cankerworm. That's, That's a wrap. wrap.